People in Lebanon have been holding protests for four months straight. Sandy Shamaoun has been active in the movement since it started. Lebanon's economy was in crisis well before last year. The government had been putting off repaying its loans and tried to raise money by putting a tax on WhatsApp, which drove people into the streets. Protesters managed to stop the tax, but the value of the lira plummeted, and banks tried to fend off a panic by limiting how much money customers could withdraw from their accounts. The situation has pulled in economists like Joan Shaker. She's trying to help her fellow Lebanese make sense of the crisis. I see my role today as a translator, um, translating this technical jargon into language that, um, you know, reaches a broader audience and actually mobilizes the street. How do you break it down for people? Let's see, um, the banks have um, used our deposits to fund the government at excessively high interest rates. Why would the government borrow at such exorbitant interest rates? It's yeah. because our politicians and their friends own the banks, and so they're basically paying themselves exorbitant interest rates mm. from public funds. Outside of Beirut, the problems are even worse. This is usually a busy time for the business the Fahed family has been running for almost two decades. This is my mom's candle shop. Yeah. And since it's uh, Palm Sunday soon, we're working on this uh, special occasion for the ceremony. All right, let's get to work. Okay, so wrap it around the, the, the candle. The stem? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, and it has to be really tight. Oh my God. And then you glue it. And then I glue it on the back side? Yeah. Ah, okay. When you're done with it, pressure right. on it. With the yes. scissors? With the scissors. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. It's okay? Yeah, it's yeah. really good, actually. <laughs> with the crisis, the wax has been, the prices has gone up really, really fast, and it's more, more expensive because we import them from uh, outside but we can't put a higher price on the candle because people won't buy it anymore, even if it's for Palm Sunday. The value of the Lebanese lira yeah. has also decreased yeah. significantly, right? Yeah, for many years, as long as I can remember, one dollar equaled 1,500 liras. Nowadays, one dollar equals 2,300 maybe. So the goods you're using to make your product that you're selling to people it's have, so almost, expensive. have almost doubled yeah, in exactly. cost. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Vanessa's helping her mother because in November, she lost her job in sales. So after two months of the re revolution, um, the first month they have let go one of my colleagues and they only paid me half of my uh, salary. One month after that, uh, and he said, we're sorry, uh, we, can't, we have to let you go. We can't afford to have you anymore. Your mom seemed, she seemed really sad. She yeah, seemed really worried. Yeah, because like no one expected the situation to increase to this level. Weeks after protests began, Lebanon's prime minister and his cabinet resigned. But the rest of the government, 
including President Michel Aoun, have stayed in power. We went to speak with Alain Aoun, a member of parliament and member of the president's party. This is the parliament, actually. Uh-huh. And, uh, this is where we have our general assembly and meetings uh, inside. Mm-hmm. He's also the president's nephew. What does the Free Patriotic Movement say about the protest? What's the reason behind it? This is something that is uh, a mix of protest because of the social and financial and economic situation, and of course also sort of distrust in the political class. So you're a politician, you're a member of parliament. Yes. Do you consider yourself part of the political class? I'm part of the political class, of course, uh, but we are not all the same. <laughs> what needs to happen first, right now? to get Lebanon out of this economic crisis. We have to take decisions about uh, the restructuring of our debt. We have to take decisions of financial aid that we will have to secure uh, in order to finance the needs of Lebanon. So More borrowing? Is... Maybe, because in all cases we're uh, running out of money. We caught back up with Sandy, who was performing with her band, The Great Departed, What do you guys want to express through your music, man? It's a music? mixture of like anger plus uh, like sarcastic. Uh, yes, yeah, like dark humor. Before the revolution, before the protest, you were thinking maybe about leaving the country. And the كره للعالم أو بكره لبنان وما بيمشي شيء. بعد سبعة عشر حسيت إنه آه لا. Okay, كلنا عم نحس نفس الشيء. You want to stay in the country. Then. Of course, أكيد. وحسينا إنه كلنا عم نحس نفس الشيء. فبالنسبة لإلي في أتحمل انهيار اقتصادي هلا بس إنه مهم إنه يكون في العالم اللي أنا بعيش معهم قادر أحكي معهم وأتواصل معهم <تصفيق>